Hafidei, my fellow Gomanians. This Christmas is going to be a little brighter for more than 100 foster children. The Regalo Foundation is once again accepting gifts for children who've been displaced because of their parents, for whatever reasons or another, can't care for them. The toy drive has become an annual event that the First Lady and the Regalo Foundation have organized. And with the help of thousands of corporate sponsors and individual contributors, it's always been a very successful event. This year's celebration of giving is shaping up to be truly a tremendous event. Last week, we hosted about 250 George Washington High School students at Adeloop. The students brought a gift and some even brought more than one. Their love and their generosity was a true definition of the word regalo, which means gift in Chamorro. For these young angels, it wasn't just about the physical gift they brought, but about the lesson they learned in the act of giving. Teachers at George Washington High School made the event a part of their student service learning. And just before the event got underway, we were able to answer questions from the students and some knew more about the foster children program than others. But one student asked, what happens to siblings? A representative from the Child Protective Services told the students that there are currently between 120 and 150 foster children. However, there are fewer than 30 foster families. And while Child Protective Services does its best to keep children together, there are cases where it's a family of seven children who need a safe and healthy place and a foster family can't care for that many children at once. And in those cases, children have to be separated. One student cried at the unfairness of the situation and the impact that it has on children who are the innocent victims of whatever issues their parents or guardians are in. That's why it's so important to support education and programs that help build up the individuals and the families within our community. It's equally important that Romanians understand the dangers of drugs which tear families apart. It's also important to support programs that help adults who unwittingly have gotten themselves and their children into very, very difficult circumstances. I think I'll also take this opportunity once again to encourage the senators to move favorably on Bill 332. This bill would allow the Regalo House to be built so that children who have to be taken from their homes have a safe place to sleep while the adults in their lives address the problems that separated them in the first place. I'd like to thank GW High teachers Bernice Babauta, Grace Griffin, Martha Tenorio, Martha Tovez, Anna Calvo, and Flo Mesa. I'd also like to thank Principal Linda Hernandez Avila for teaching their students that life isn't just about what you can get out of it, but what you can give and the difference you can make in the lives of others.